Yes guys, welcome to God's Tens TV. Here is your own host. Welcome to Hot Coffee with Daudib. So, welcome to the 11th episode. Yes, I'm excited. I'm going to talk about something really amazing. Love one another as Jesus loved us. So, we're going to talk about that. It's an amazing. Remember one thing, God has done amazing things for our lives. He is a loving God, a caring God. That's what the in uh, uh, John chapter 15 verse 12 says, love one another. This is my commandment. The love one another so we're going to talk about the love today so go get your coffee get your tea sit down watch it and listen it carefully so welcome to hot coffee with audio yes so i'm talking about jesus i want i want to just say jesus has set a very great example very perfect example for us of loving and kindness he's showing love to the poor serving the poor uh, going to the sick people and he's showing us a very very good example i want to talk about one of the example that says Lazarus and you know that Lazarus was dead for four days and Lazarus was her family was become uh, his family was hopeless his, they were crying screaming down but Jesus look at Jesus love he says he is not dead he is sleeping I'm going to tell you today whatever your circumstances are whatever your problems are you are not dead it's just a temporary the best is permanent the glory that God has for you that for your business, for your work, for your life, for your family, that is yours. So just keep trusting the Lord. That's a very important thing. And that's what the, the Lord, when Jesus Christ was telling in, in the last times that um, you believe, you have to believe it. Now the believing is this, that this is for the glory, for the God to be glorified. You know, anything that happens that brings the testimony of your life, I tell you. If you're going through right now a problem, sickness, and you might say, okay, I'm not loved enough. I'm, I'm not loved. I'm not cared. Remember, Jesus loves you so badly. Love one another because he loves us first. As he loved us, we love one another. How we can love one another? Nowadays, we are Christians, those kind of Christians. We are those kind of believers. We are pulling down the legs of each other. We are pulling down the legs of each other. We don't want somebody else to succeed. We don't want. We are not in unity. We are not. We are the body of Christ. Remember, you are the. You are watching me. You are the body. Of, you are the member of the body of Christ. I'm the member of body of Christ. So we should stood up with each other. We should stand up with each other. Instead of loving, we are coming against each other. Instead of loving, we are just pulling down the legs of each other. And this is a truly end times dear. I want to tell you, love one another as Christ loves you. How you can love. When you have Christ is in you. Amen. So when you have a Jesus Christ inside of you, you can overcome a lot of things. That's a very important thing because the devil come to steal. That's what John 10, 10 says. The devil come to steal, to kill, to destroy. But Jesus come to give what only life? No, Jesus come to give an abundance life. He come to give you a hope, for everlasting hope. He's, he's coming to give you a brand new life. Amen. So with that brand new life, with that abundance, blessings, he wants you to share that blessings with others. He wants you, he want you to he want you to take a part, take a, take a step of it and share his love that he did to you, to somebody else. And take a moment right now sharing this video to somebody, sharing the love of Christ. Somebody really need this. I want to tell you badly this word that Jesus loves you madly and he's only the crazy lover that loves you madly. The boyfriend might leave you, the husband might not love you properly, the wife might not, not love you properly, and girlfriend might not love you properly, and all the stuff of the world cannot love you properly, but Jesus loves you perfectly. He loves you, and that's the example of Jesus. Even though he, people spit on him, he loves them. Can you imagine that? Now, what we are the Christian of those times that people even say things against us. We are extremely not loving them. Be loving to each other, be kind to each other. That's what the word of God talk about. So this is a commandment of Jesus. That's what he said. Jesus told his disciple, this is my commandment that love one another as I have loved you. What a prophetic, what a powerful, the word Jesus is telling. The love, Jesus is only, only, the, only the meaning of the love. Jesus' word, I want to say this. I always, I always encounter that. Jesus' love is a love, uh, is a word. Jesus' word is a love, actually. Jesus is a love. He is the love. Remember this thing. So when you're keeping talking about Jesus, you're talking about the love. Amen. Aha. Uh -huh. You're talking about the love. He died on the cross of Calvary. Can you just imagine about that? He died on the cross of Calvary. For what? For you and I. For what? To, to just be, to just be thinking, ah, we are not going to accomplish our dreams. We are not going to grow in our life. We are, we are going to be in darkness. We are going to be never lifted up. Trust the Lord. 
and all things are possible with those who believe amen those you are believing today you're watching right now i want you to take a moment share 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 this video and share the love of christ with someone so be loving be kind to each other but remember this i'll just look at the samaritan woman how jesus was loving to her jesus is loving all over you see the bible jesus is loving jesus is a message of love not of hate so I want to tell those Christians, I want to tell those people, stop spreading the hate, start doing the love. This is a commandment of Jesus, love one another. So let's stop spreading the hate. Okay, that's, that's not a good pastor, that's not a good man of God, or that's not a good woman of God, that's not a good and that. What is word of God? According to word of God, follow the word of God. That's a very important thing. Follow the word of God. Then the miracles begin to happen over your life. And I'm talking to you, somebody. I know I'm talking to somebody right now. That that there's something great is going to take over place when you when you when you partake yourself in a love of Christ Jesus, and that's how you are able to love others. That's what the, once once again, if you go and read the Bible, it says, "This is my commandment that one love one another as I have loved you." So simple thought: love one another as He has loved you. So how come you can love others when you have Jesus inside of you? Spend time in the Word of God, as I always says grow in prayer god has an amazing plan i'm going to pray for some people if you have a hard time loving people i speak right now peace over you in the name of jesus christ i speak the peace i speak the love between the nations i speak love between your relationship i speak love between your families i speak peace they came to receive it receive receive believing is receiving so receive it right now begin to believe and receive god has an amazing plan God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob loves you. He cares for them. He cares for you too. He gave his only the begotten son. That's what the John chapter 3 verse 16 talk about. That he gave only the begotten son. That's who I was believed shall not be perished but have an everlasting life. So we are the people of everlasting. Amen. Because we serve an everlasting God. Hallelujah. We serve an amazing exhuming fire God. We are not born to lose we are born to win we are born a winner remember that god has an amazing plan once again thank you for watching lots of love and we are looking forward for the 12 and 13 episodes coming up before we end up the season we are bringing some high energies i do believe this is one of the high energy love one another so do that don't forget to like comment share subscribe to the channel for a lot more videos are coming a lot of things are coming there god bless you your doubt peace